Hello guys for another episode in machine learning in .NET. Today we'll talk about the difference between Python and ML.NET. So let's get started. I will start first by answering the question, why Python for machine learning? Why we always, everyone use Python for machine learning? What are the amazing reasons actually behind this? There are a set of steps that made Python actually the number one programming language for machine learning. But this doesn't prohibit other languages like C Sharp, F Sharp, Java, or Go to build machine learning models as well and consume it. But let's discover why Python is that. First, Python born in a scientific environment. So from the beginning of the early age of Python, it was created and used by scientists, so it became very popular between them because it was first released in 1991 in the National Research Institute for Mathematics and Computer Science in Amsterdam. Then it's an, the nature of the language as an interpreted programming language made the developers or the people who write code in Python know there is no worries about the compilation and this process of software development. Then. If we come to the syntax of Python, probably it's the easier programming language that's existing out there. Very, very simple, very clear, and humor readable. Everyone can read Python, no need, there is no the complexity that you can find in other programming languages that only developers can deal with. Also, at the beginning when they used it for the world of machine learning, they just used Python for in, naturally, like let's say this. But because that was a long time ago, during that journey, actually developers and the community around the globe build a huge number of tools and packages that allows uh, Python developers to manipulate data, create models, uh, evaluate them, consume them very, very easily. In addition to this, if you want to learn machine learning or you try to search for something about machine learning, you can find unlimited number of examples for that in Python. So it's very, very popular. It's very easy, very rich as well. But as I've said before, this doesn't prohibit any other programming language to create, train, evaluate, and consume machine learning models. And this is the situation with Microsoft and ML.NET. The .NET ecosystem is very popular between the developers around the world, especially when it comes to the enterprise and business line of applications. With .NET, you can almost build everything, especially after they released .NET Core and they made it open source. So the community out there was amazed about .NET and right now, also from the beginning, they build awesome things, but they don't train and consume machine learning models. So Microsoft decided to make ML.NET open source programming language. They have used it for a long time internally, but last year or the year before, they have decided to make it available for public. And this gives the ability for developers to create machine learning models in .NET. Actually, there are also many number or many reasons why you can, why you use ML.NET over Python. First, if you are a developer, you have a you have huge enterprise systems or business system or even uh, uh, normal applications for customers, not only business targeted, and you want to add AI functionality, but you want to go very very deeply in the world of machine learning or something like this. ML.NET is just perfect for you. Also, there is, as I've said, there is a huge number of developers who are addicted to .NET ecosystem. They love it. They love every part of it. They don't want to go outside. But as I've said, there is no way to make machine learning models. So right now, ML.NET gives you this ability to create models and not only simple models. You can make very, very awesome things. And also, after .NET Core became open source, you can see right now, especially on GitHub, on YouTube, and other, the blogs of the community of .NET developers, they are just creating magnificent things with .NET, magnificent packages to do a lot of cool things. So it's just being developed very and very quickly by the community. So 
Right now, ML.NET completes that development by adding the ability to create machine learning and deep learning models in .NET. So actually, in a summary, or in a nutshell, if you are someone who wants to go very, very deeply in machine learning and create um, awesome machine learning models, you want to go too far in manipulating the data and doing very complicated models and this way no go for python but if you are a software developer you're having your own software that actually right now running or you want to make your own software but you want to add ai functionality for that software machine learning is just perfect for you and the future for ml.net microsoft is right now right now is just working very hard on it and every day there are a lot of new things being added so there is a very big future for it but for now for developers who build software it's awesome and enough for you to create models or to consume models from your dotnet applications natively no need for python and no need to create model in python host it with an api and call it from your application adding latency adding another ecosystem for your application Right now in .NET, you can do everything from scratch till the end, till you deploy that to the end customer. And this is what we will see. We'll see the whole journey within this course. So in the next video, we'll start by talking about what are the steps you go in while you are building a machine learning model or solution. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit that like and the subscribe button to support us. And see you in the next video.